I'm gonna come in real close because I want you guys to hear me good. If you guys have never believed anything that I've done on this channel, believe this. Believe this one. I brought receipts. I brought hard facts and evidence. Okay? So stay tuned because you're not going to want to miss this. I know you guys are eager to get these results and I'm excited to share them with you. But before we do, we got to pay some bills. So today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. And if you're unfamiliar with Skillshare, it is an online platform that offers an array of courses for creatives. There's so many courses to discover and explore, such as illustration, photography, videography, you name it, they have it. And you can do this all from the comfort of your homes. So if you're looking to start a new hobby or pursue a new career, Skillshare is for you. For me personally, apart from hair care, I'm a big foodie. I love cooking as much as I love eating. So I'm taking advantage of this cooking course by Luca La Rosa that teaches basic Italian cuisines. So if you're interested in becoming a member on Skillshare, I will leave my link down below and the first 1000 people to use my link will get one month free trial of Skillshare. So guys, if you'll remember, I did a challenge using one ingredient to um, combat postpartum shedding, hair thinning, and hair loss. And it was my video about using curry leaves. So I, in that video, I showed you guys how to make it, how to apply it. So that was the week of April 14th. And I promised that I would use it for the duration of a month. And in the first week, I used it twice. Second week, used it twice. Third week, I used it twice. And the fourth week, I used it once. So I'm going to show you guys um, how I applied it and how I did it. And I will include timestamps because I know you guys like to, mm -hmm, in my comments, like, that ain't you, that ain't your real hair, that ain't this. Mm -hmm, don't do it <laughs> because I brought receipts and you guys are not going to want to miss this. I'm going to show you the results at the very end of the video. And honestly, it shocked me. Like when I looked at it, you're not going to want to miss it. That's all I got to say. Okay, so leg up. So I just wanted to give you guys an understanding of what exactly I was doing. So basically, I would take some of the infused curry leaves oil and then I would heat it up a little bit and I would start off by detangling my hair first and then I would apply the oil directly to my scalp using my fingers and I would just massage that in lightly and then I would go in with my detangling brush and I would use the brush to rake the product through my scalp and throughout my hair and I would rely on the bristles to sort of massage my scalp and distribute the product and to stimulate the hair follicles and to encourage blood circulation. And once I did that, I would proceed to twisting my hair and then going in with my scalp massager. And again, this helps to promote hair growth because you're stimulating your blood vessels. So yeah, and then I would just put my bonnet on or put, put a shower cap on and I would leave it in for a few hours. On the first night that I did it, I did leave it overnight, um, but I do regret that because the smell kind of got to me. So for those of you who have asked me if using curry leaves, um, if it has a smell, yes it does. It's not for the weak, <laughs> but for me, the benefits outweigh you know the smell, so I can tolerate it to be honest. But sleeping with it on my hair overnight is a huge no-no. I'm not going to do that again. So for the following, so for the following days or for the following weeks, I actually only left it in for a few hours, anyway, from four to six hours, and then I would proceed to rinsing it out, like washing my hair. Um, and I wash my hair twice a week. So after every treatment, I would wash my hair. So I'm just gonna let you guys watch the next. Um, treatments and then see how I did that. It's basically the same thing um, repeated and I included timestamps so um, keep an eye out for that as well.
that you guys get an understanding of what I was doing, how exactly I did it, and how many times a week I applied this treatment to my hair, you'll better understand the results. Now, my goal was not to stop postpartum shedding. I do understand it's a natural thing. It happens to most people, most women, but I wanted to slow it down or see if I could slow it down or control it. And I am happy to report that I was able to do that. So I'm going to share the results with you guys right now. This is week one. As you can see, I labeled it week one. So this is the week of April 14th and April 17th. So I did two treatments. I detangled my hair then I applied the treatment, then I washed it out and detangled my hair again. So all of that is what this is. So as you can see, massive amount of hair in the first week. It's crazy. Crazy amounts. Anything that came from the shower, anything that was in my brush, this is it. Okay, so that's week one. Okay, I'm just gonna actually I'm gonna leave it out out of the bag I'll put that there for you so you can see the piles side by side okay so that's week one week two you can already see huge difference this is the week of probably April 21st and April 25th anyways I put the dates prior to this so you'll be able to see the dates so again this is two treatments two separate detangles just look at that side by side already you can see the huge difference that it made and week three again you can see I know this is kind of gross but I wanted you guys to see side by sides like it's crazy and then week four I only did the treatments once this week, and when I detangled my hair, literally, there was barely anything, even from the shower, there was barely anything. In my brush, there was barely anything to comb out, and I was really shocked by this. This is like my norm, my normal shedding. So clearly, this thing is working, or does work, and... I'm like so pleasantly surprised. Let me just put that closer so you guys can see the side by side. Again, this is week one, week two, week three, week four. Drastic difference. I mean, it speaks for itself. I also wanted to show you guys that my edges are coming in as well. And I'm going to include some pictures that um, were taken, like screenshots that I took from the videos um, showing how I did the curry leaves oil application and treatments and I'm gonna do some screen grabs and show it to you guys to show you that I had some like thinning and balding happening and this treatment really works like I want to give you guys hard facts you guys are gonna see like look at this I'm not a baby hair person and I don't style my hair with baby hairs um but i was really impressed to see that my edges came back i'm gonna zoom in and show you guys like this area was like blank like it was non-existent and like look at that i have edges all of a sudden and they're short so you could tell they weren't they weren't there and then they they like started to come in so just like you guys know like this thing is the truth a ruth and not just does it work to thicken your hair and help with hair fall but like clearly it's like regrowing my hair as well and coupled with the massages that i do they really really work and they really help so i mean the facts are here so it's up to you guys if you want to try it um but definitely i think the scalp massages make all the difference as well it's not just a treatment it's not just the application um it's definitely the massages as well because i do spend time to massage um my scalp um anywhere from three to five minutes um, and stroking my hair with the brush, it really helps. So yeah, just wanted to let you guys know. So I just want to add that I do understand that a lot of the stuff that I do on my channel is kind of, or raises a lot of skepticism. I'm not naive to that. I do read the comments and I see it. You know, some people just say, oh, it's genetics. Your hair grows. Your hair is just nice and whatever. You don't have to work on it. Other people just think it's a wig and they write me off right away. And then other people, they doubt that what I've actually done 
like on my treatments, my DIYs, they doubt that it actually works for my hair. So in this video, I made an honest effort to really document and track what I was doing and keep the evidence to um, show you guys. So um, if you've been with me from day one, um, my very first video, I explained how I used fenugreek with my first pregnancy um, to combat postpartum shedding and that worked for me, um, but I wanted to do something else um, this time around and I chose curry leaves because it's been said to to help with hair fall specifically so guys those are my results and i'm so super surprised by all honestly i was not expecting it to work so well and honestly i feel like it may have worked a little bit better than my fenugreek like i'm not gonna lie like i don't remember i know it was like seven years ago now since i had my first daughter but i don't remembering it working so well like right off the bat like for me, this is like instant results. I know a month for some of you may be like, okay, that's too long. Anybody got time? But for me, that is really good results in a short amount of time. So yeah, there you have it. If you found this video at all helpful or informative in any way, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and share it with your friends. And I will see you in another one. Bye.